I simply love physicists, mostly because they have the capability of wrapping their minds around the unseen. For this very reason, they've been the arm of science that has been most successful in explaining phenomena that until now has been relegated to giggles. The most intriguing subject is that of a force that has been called by many names, including chi in the Asian healing arts and martial arts vocabulary. It's a ubiquitous field that permeates all things and affects all other systems, but is very difficult to measure. This is why it makes scientists so edgy to enter into this field. Claude Swanson, who is a physicist from MIT and Princeton, has embraced these challenges and has written two amazing books, The Synchronized Universe and Life Force, The Scientific Basis, in which he explains how this field interfaces with ESP, remote viewing and remote healing, the flexibility of time-space continuum, and more. One of the big challenges to Western science has been trying to understand a lot of this stuff. You know, the healers can project their energy or can heal somebody thousands of miles away. Mm -hmm. When they do, it's like they're in instantaneous contact with that person. They often describe a almost like a holographic image of the person right in front of them, and they can work on the holographic image of that organ and, and have an effect on the person. Um, our physics has no way to explain that right now. Electromagnetism can't do it because right. it distances, it drops off as the square of the distance, it's too weak. Uh, torsion appears to be a possible way of understanding and explaining scientifically how long-range healing works as well as ESP and other psychic phenomena. Uh, all those phenomena are alike in that they don't get weaker with distance, they can transmit mm -hmm. over huge distances, and you can send signals forward and backward in time. You're not limited to just the present. So uh, torsion appears to maybe be the the beginning of a new science that could explain all this stuff and help help create a real science from it. Then, Thank goodness. Yeah, it's because no one was paying attention to chi yeah. or prana. I mean, the people that are practitioners and use right. it and understand it, qigong masters certainly pay attention. Right. These are some phenomenally highly developed people on this planet. Right, right. But for the Western mind, we need someone to do the science just right. to allow us to even contemplate the possibilities, no less apply them. Right. Yeah. This is a fascinating conversation about what enhances our intuitive abilities and much more. For the full-length conversation, go to cmm.tv.